We're coming up to Balsam Lake, and the kids always, always, always look for turtles. Look for and turtles. usually, right over here, uh, there's a log, and the turtles, oh, the turtles are gone now. Uh, no, look over here. Okay, so we'll look on the other side. We'll see if we see any turtles over here. Um, sometimes you see them, sometimes you don't. And we always go, and we look for turtles and count how many turtles we can see. Oh, I've seen zero. No, we saw two going. Turtles. Okay. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them right there. Oh, oh, and a bird. Three. Okay. Oh, here's there's one. Hold on, Daddy. There's one right there on the log. Yeah. Oh, there's some more going in. Six. Oh, is there more on these? Or no, those are okay. There's cars coming. We gotta go. We got to see a bunch of turtles this time, though. What did you see, Grace? Turtles. That's what we like doing when we go this way. We get to count the turtles and on gray days they're not out but in the spring on a sunny day usually you can see a lot of turtles. No, not a hundred. Ten, ten's a good day if you see ten. Do you know what happened uh, a year and two days ago? I do. What? We bought the Beast Bus. That's right. So we've had this thing for over a year now. Yep. It's and not like we put a lot of mileage on no, it. No, we haven't put a lot of mileage. They tell you about 5,000 miles. We bought it at 79. So what is it at about, now? Wait, about three, about uh, 3, between 000. three to 4,000 miles. Daddy, can I tell you something too? What, and Peter? That is my one year anniversary not going to a restaurant. A you, restaurant. That's well, right. Oh, you, you, that was the last restaurant you went to when we went to New Jersey? Yep. Didn't you go with Grandpa and Grandma? I went to Grandpa with to Brooks. Nope. Okay, well, I I've have... I've gone a few times since then with Grandma. I have not been to a restaurant in over a year either. Me uh, I went to a restaurant yeah. last um, a couple been. days ago with the so, went I to went, lunch. Um, I went three weeks ago. And then four weeks ago. I've been actually out quite a bit. Wow. It's been over Actually. It's been over a year since I've been to a restaurant, but you know what? Janelle's cooking is so good that it's fine with me. I'd rather eat at home than at a restaurant. And that's, Although it, I will say it is nice to go out every now and then, but about once a year is about just right. Actually, Art and I have uh, a gift certificate to go out for a date night. We just need to hook it up with my parents right. so we can actually go out. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we are due. It's been a year, so we are due for a restaurant. Absolutely. Two little girls are sleeping. Look at that. Lillian's out and Grace is out too. Lydia still has her special gloves on. And Mary does. Oh, Mary does too, wow. Grace still has her special gloves on. Yeah, she has her hand over her head. And Charity never likes to waste a minute, so she is making something. Washcloth. Washcloth. All right, well, least... on the trip up and back, let's see. Because with the yarn, it's easier to do it work out in the middle, so I can only do one. Is doing I finished that. So. Those ones should be up in my Etsy store soon. Daddy. What? Yeah, she's sleeping. A lot of you guys have been asking what we eat, and I'll just give you an idea. This is a shopping trip that I did today, and this will give you an idea of what part of our uh, meal plan for the week. So the broccoli was 99 cents a pound. I ended up buying uh, quite a large amount because the kids like eating that. And then their tomatoes were also 99 cents a pound, and this bag was from my cousin. I won this from Norex. And it's a reusable produce bag. And for any of you guys who may be wondering, because Art brought this up, how much are you gonna pay for using this bag compared to the plastic ones? And um, my cousin and her husband sat down and actually did a weight comparison. And I think it was something like you had to use that 20 times to make up for a penny difference. So really ne negligible whether you used it or not. And I like the fact that I don't have to come home and throw the bag out. So the cantaloupes were 97 cents each, and those are probably two, three pounds worth of fruit. So really a good price on that. And then Charity spotted these bacon seasonings. I use this a lot for a lot of my summer salads. This was a dollar 74 uh, pound, which is a steal for bacon ends. So I snagged that up. Ice cream. <laughs> One of my guilty pleasures, I don't keep around the house very much. This was 99 cents and it's hot and I'm cleaning the house and well, it's one of my weaknesses. <laughs> and then we had our frozen mixed vegetable, vegetables, 
And the frozen vegetables were at 99 cents for a pound. The chicken, these were normally $4.41. It was $3.29 a pound, and it had a $2 markdown sticker. So it was like $1.30, $1.40 a pound, which is a really good for price for boneless um, chicken. The butter was a dollar. I think it was $1.49. The cheese was on sale at $1.99. And then the hamburger was $1.99 a pound for 80%. And that was a really, that was a competitor coupon. And then last but not least, we have our glorious toilet paper. And if you guys are new to our channel, back a year, a little over a year ago, we went to Target and scored this amazing deal on toilet paper. A haul that we bought of toilet paper a year ago lasted us right around one year, maybe a little bit longer than a year. And I've been waiting for another great price on it, but it hasn't come up. Um, this was $4.99 for 12 rolls, and that'll last us two, three months. Hopefully I'll find another really good deal in between the time. But I just wanted to give you guys that quick overview. This is pretty standard of what we eat. Um, I make the breads for the kids. Um, sometimes I have the bread if I don't have time to make something for myself. But this is a pretty standard haul. We focus primarily on the whole foods and not too much junk food. Sometimes we buy junk food, but not very often. And lest any of you think that I'm going to starve my family by this quantity of food, we do buy our cow once a year, which have, we have a lot of meat in the freezer. We also have all the food from our bulk food hauls. If you haven't seen those videos, make sure you check those out in the playlist. And you can see that we buy a lot of our food in bulk, but the fresh produce is really what we can't buy in bulk because we, I mean, we don't eat that much. And so like this amount of broccoli is definitely two weeks worth. Tomatoes, mm, a week, week and a half, depending how long they last. Cantaloupes will probably be another week, week and a half. I'll probably end up freezing some of the chicken. The mixed vegetables will definitely last to two weeks. And this just sort of supplements all of our bulk food that we have. And this is pretty standard. This cost me right around, I'm doing the math here, 50, about $53 for all of this. We also don't have our milk here. We usually pick that up at Stewart's and that's, we spend about $15 more on milk. So, add that together, that's about $65 a week, and then you figure in the cow. So we're right around that $80 a week mark for our family of nine, which it's higher than what it used to be. Of course, we have more mouths, but because we've made this switch to more Whole Foods and you can't really find coupons for Whole Foods, you can only buy their sale stuff, I'm pretty happy and I think our overall health is a lot better, part, partly due to eating better. We're going to work on cleaning out the barn right now. Uh, it kind of took a hit from our garage sale and when we did the girls' room a while back. Only about a half an hour and we have most of our garage cleared out. And then guess what? What? Peter found my special ones. They're a little tight, but I have bigger ones that would probably fit me. Yeah, those I think are Mary-sized ones. Yep. Yeah, one day I get to learn how to wear Maybe I can teach her. Janelle is working on cleaning up the deck and Charity is sweeping off the patio because Janelle is going to do this too. We've gotten the barn most of the way cleared out. Now we just have to take care of all the stuff that we have. A lot of the stuff is from when we uh, worked on the girls room and we still have to uh, fit it in the trash can. Lydia wanted to teach Mary how to roll her blade. So she just got started. I'm just finishing up the garage. We're almost done. Just have a little bit left to do. It gets messy in here. There's Charity, Mary, and Lillian all just sitting there. And I'm doing Charity's that. just staring out into the sunset. I have my sunglasses. You have sunglasses. Yeah, I need a pair of those. Oh, cool girl. There's Peter and Grace. Peter's taking apart a bed, which he loves. There's Lydia go karting. Mom is doing that, and doing that. Look at, can you see her? Mom, can you see? Say hi. Hi. Do you see? Look at Mary. <laughs> no, look at Mary and Grace. Look how long the stain line is. 
I mean, it's 18, 24 inches. It's like really, really big. And there's John. Playing with a cool hoop Whoa, and reading. Oh, where did you find that thing? It was over by the garden. Over by the umbilical doors. That's like a two foot long dandelion. I know, it's crazy. Janelle finished the deck. No. Well, we're not. Okay, here's the thing. There's. You might not know this from um, watching my videos, but I'm kind of a perfectionist. And so, if you look at this, well, first of all, Art just got his dirt prints on it. Sorry. But there's, um, you probably can see it. You know, you can see it very clearly in the video. And so, the deck is clean, but I have not consistently taken the pressure washer and gone board by board in the sweep. You can see there's places I have done it, and you can very clearly see where I haven't done it. It's so much better. And this, I presume, is mostly trash. Yeah, this is trash. Most of this is leftovers from the girls' room when we did that. We've been throwing away a little bit each week, but we still have a eh, fairly substantial pile left. It's getting there. But look at that. There's a trail. You I can know. A straight yeah. shot to the stairs. Oh, I know we've done this before, but this was before our, our purging effort, so right. hopefully it will stay this way this time. We mentioned a couple videos ago that we were hoping to have the house recovered by the end of the week, uh, recovered from our garage sale. And I think it's mostly recovered. Uh, today we worked hard on the garage and got that looking nice. And that's a burden off at least my back. I don't know about Janelle as much. Mm, maybe um, a little bit. So we have a little bit more to do, but I think uh, now that the barn is cleaned out, it's going to be a lot easier to work outside. And we don't have to dig around for our stuff right. that we need. There's a lot of stuff outside tonight. One of the things that was kind of a downer is we have um, a sprayer that I was trying to clean the deck with. and It wasn't working. It wasn't working. And what I spent probably oh, an hour, quite a while. hour and a half trying to get it to work. And then Peter said, hey, while well, Daddy was cleaning, we found a second sprayer, only in our garage. So I took that, cleaned it up, and then that wasn't working, but it needed lubricating. I added lubricant to it, and it sort of worked, but not really. And no. so finally, I just, I just actually poured the cleaner on and spread it around with a brush. I just said, I don't have enough time. But that was kind of aggravating. All right, we're going to call it a night. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you for our next video. Good night. Good night.